I'm starting this video with snacks because I'm kind of hungry right now. Cheers! Today, I am gonna be bringing back the good old favorites video here on YouTube. I used to love watching this back in high school and I can't believe I haven't done one of this of my own. And now that we are half done with 2022, I thought it would be fun for me to just combine everything and share with you guys the things that I recently bought and have been loving for the past few months. I'm gonna start off with clothes and the fashion related stuff just because most of my stuffs are in that category. This is a skirt that I recently got and this is from the brand Diesel. It has their little logo here in red and it also has their logo in the back. I thrifted this from Carousel and I thought that I wouldn't be able to fit in it so I thought I would have it as something to push me to work out more but to my surprise it actually fit me so um, I'm very very happy about that. I have been liking the look of denim skirt and Diesel is kind of having their comeback. I really love this bag that they recently released. I love the big silver logo detailing but I feel like it's kind of a trendy trendy item so I kind of held myself back but I also really like this denim bag that they have. The straps is really cool. It's also pretty big so I feel like it could hold a lot of stuff. So I went on Carousel and I looked up Diesel and I found this really cute mini denim skirt. It's gonna look so cute with like just a white basic t-shirt. Next item is also kind of a trend that I bought into. This is a pair of cargo pants from the brand The North Face. I haven't had the chance to wear it out yet but I want to include it in this video because I know I am gonna love it. And the best part is that the pants are detachable so the zipper is kind of stuck. I'll try to figure that out later but this is what it looks like as a cargo shot. I'll figure this out later but you'll see it in the try on clip. Next is also a pair of pens and these are the Dickies 874. These are my most worn pens lately. Whenever I don't know which pens that I want to wear, these are my go-to. I like these more than denim pants just because the fabric is a lot more breathable. And the one that I have is the flex version so the fabric is not as stiff as the standard kind. The waist is a little bit big on me when I wear it up like a regular pair of pants. But when it's flipped, it fits me perfectly, kind of low-waisted. I know this is also quite a trendy, like hot item recently but I really love the look of it. I think it's so cool. And once the trend is gone, you can just bloop, Flip it up and it's gonna be just a regular pair of pants and the quality is also really really nice like I love the logo in the back I actually saw a lot of these pants in this exact model at this trip store called JBR bundle in Shah Alam and they were selling for around 30 to 40 ringgit if I remember correctly if I didn't already have this I would totally just try to look for one there that would fit me so if you're trying to look for one of these pants Maybe you can check out that thrift store. Moving on is this pair of shoes. These are the Gel 1130 from ASICS. And they are the most comfortable pair of shoes that I own. I wasn't planning to use this as my running shoes. I got them just because they look really, really cool. But they are so comfortable to run in. I love the color combination of the blue and orange. They remind me a lot of the New Balance 530 that I have been wanting since last year. But it was so out everywhere. I didn't really want to pay extra to get them from a reseller so I just kind of forgot about those shoes and I saw these on Pinterest and I just feel like they are so much cooler than the New Balance 530 these are my latest shoes edition and I actually have another pair of shoes here from New Balance as well these were sent to me as a PR gift and ta-da! I love New Balance. These are the CT302. I think these are from their latest collaboration with IU. They call it the IU sneakers. These are some skaters sneakers. So the front is pretty stiff but it doesn't feel uncomfortable to walk in at all. And it says the intelligent choice inside. I wish that this could stay flipped like this so they can show the wording. It would look so cool like this. But yeah, it doesn't stay so. This kind of reminds me of my Stan Smith but I definitely prefer this. So yeah, if you're looking for a pair of shoes to replace your old Stan Smith, no shades to Adidas, maybe you can check out the CT302. Next pair of shoes, you might have already seen it if you watch my vlog but 
It's a pair of roller skates. I haven't had this for quite that long but it has brought me so much joy to just learn a new hobby, to just pick up a new hobby. I got this from Shopee. It's not a branded skate but I feel like the quality is pretty nice even though they didn't come in a box. They just shipped these in a plastic bag but for the price I would say these are pretty good. The wheels feels really smooth and sturdy and it's also quite comfy inside. But with this, you'll have to size up. I usually wear like 38.5 and I got this in 39 and they fit me really, really nice. These are one of my latest purchase and I wish that I would have gotten them sooner because I don't know, they're just so cute. These are the Marshalls Major 4. I was actually contemplating between these and the Sony MX1000. What was the name again? Like the Sony MX4 and the Sony headphones do have noise cancelling but I ended up choosing these from Marshall because after trying them on, I realized that I don't really like headphones with noise cancelling. I feel like it kind of adds this pressure to your ear and if you watch my vlog, I think I kind of mentioned before that I get this weird anxiety whenever I go out alone so not being able to hear what's going on in my surrounding would add to that anxiety even more so I specifically look for ones that don't have noise cancelling and it also folds up like this if you want to keep it in your bag it's so tiny, so portable but one downside is that it doesn't come with a case I have the box here and the ones that I got is in brown and it comes with a matching aux cord and if I want, I can plug this into my amp and I will be able to play my guitar at night without waking others up which is so nice and one thing to note about this is that it sits right on your ear for the sony ones they kind of just sit around your ear but this doesn't feel uncomfortable at all even though this doesn't come with the noise cancelling feature it does block out half of the sound like half of my surrounding sound my own voice kind of feels muffled also another thing is that it gets kind of hot around your ear especially if you don't have your ac on i think this applies to all headphones so I actually wanted this in black. I know a lot of people wanted them in brown and it was always out of stock but in my case, the black was out of stock. This was kind of an impulsive purchase because when I added this to my card, it shows that this is the very last unit that they have. I checked out Senheng, Suili, their official website. They were all sold out so I was really afraid that this is gonna sell out as well so I just hit the checked out button and after receiving this, I went back to check and it is now so out so um i got the last pair i'm not sure if they have restocked now but i will leave their link in the description box down below next tech related stuff is my handy cam i got so many questions on this about the model and this is the sony fdr ax40 so this handy cam does shoot 4k i have been using this for my vlogs and i just love filming with this. It kind of gives a different vibe to the video and it feels really fun to vlog with this. It makes me want to document my life even more and the mic is also really good. I don't have to use any external mic. It's pretty good on its own. I think the most fun part with a handy cam is the zoom. It just zooms so like seamlessly. The screen does flip all the way and to turn it on and off, you just close it up like this. And yeah, this is my handy cam. And uh, I had another Sony handy cam before, which is a lot smaller, and that only shoots HD. But the footage from that camera is not as clear as this. I definitely like this a lot more because that handy cam feels more like a toy. It's a lot lighter, a lot smaller. And I only use that whenever I want to give a vintage effect to my footage. But I wouldn't really use that for a full vlog because the footage would look a little bit too dull for my liking so I upgraded to this instead. It's kind of bulky to vlog in public but I feel like people would just think that you are filming for home videos. I didn't feel as self-conscious to film with this as compared to my G7X because this just feels like I'm making home videos for memory's sake. This is my baby. For makeup, I only have a few to share. I shared about this in a vlog before but at that time I was using my handy cam so I thought this would show you the shades a lot better. So this is in the shade 543 Posh Pit. It's kind of in this nudie cinnamon red color and this is another shade in 549 PDA. This has more of a reddish undertone. I really like the texture of this lipstick from 
their luster glass line it kind of looks a little different when you're actually wearing it than the swatches yeah, it looks a little darker on my lips but i really love this this i also shared in a vlog and this is something tiktok made me buy this is the juicy lasting tint from roman and it's in a shade 19 almond rose i like wearing this for my everyday makeup look i'm gonna get this in another shade because i do really like the texture of it but if you're not a big fan of scented lip tint this might not be for you because it it does have a pretty strong scent to it but yeah the color is really pretty and it's also really affordable so hollywood queen i saw a lot of people recommending this blush on redbook if you didn't know redbook is a chinese social media platform and it's kind of like pinterest but you can interact with each other you can comment it's kind of like a mix of instagram and pinterest this was pretty affordable but the packaging is so well made it's so nice and it even comes with a mirror inside i got this in the shade n02 sun cha na tea i am really bad at describing color but this is kind of in this like brownish mauvey pink shade it kind of has the same cinnamon brown undertone as my mac lipstick in 543 so this is the lipstick and this is the blush and i love wearing these two together Look how pigmented is this blush. I also love adding this across my nose. I think it looks very cute. If you have access to Taobao, definitely check this out. This is so good. Lastly, it's a game that I have been loving. This is my most played game on my Switch and it's Cuphead. I'm gonna include like a better bureau of it but this game is available on steam as well so even if you don't have a switch you can also download them on steam and i actually play this game more often than i play animal crossing so i think that speaks a lot and even though it's like a 2d game it's very very challenging to pass all the levels i still haven't cleared the game yet i really love the background music of this game and also the art style it gives off this nostalgic feelings and it reminds me of the cartoons that i used to watch when i was like a little kid and it's also a two players game so yeah that's the end for my favorites video i had a lot of fun filming this it's kind of nice to just escape from the real world problems and just sit here and talk about materialist things and the things i love and yeah let me know if you guys would like to see more of this videos where i talk about trends and things i have been loving because i that's kind of a side of interest of me that i don't really share online because i don't want to come off as like material girl or where i'm always like shopping for things but i do really like looking at trends and finding things that i like or don't like and also i love window shopping a lot i love browsing through essence farfetch and all that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye